what is happening fishers so it is sunday afternoon and we have made our way down to dead man's gully the only place fishable in a big sea and a full spring tide almost anyway and in the background a little bit of a catfish leg out i'm going to have a little shad session here this afternoon and see if we can get some shad for you guys so we've got the camera focused on the gully let's see how many shad we can get but they are around anyway got the trusty Loomis archipelago 11 foot and a little Kuma uh, Zors with some 30, 20 pound braid. I'm going to pump that out and uh, let's see if we get some fish for you guys. Cheers. Andrew, I don't know what this is. Red shakes. I just saw a shad about a meter away from me flick on the surface here. And I was checking my bait and I was like, oh no, I've hooked up. That sucks. Started moving. It's a nice fish. Whatever it is, rock on. Nice little yellow belly, guys. Come here. Anyway, chaps, there it is. We're getting back. Not the intended species, but it's a fishers. What is happening, fishers? So we're onto something decent, yeah. You're on a shared head. Ooh, this thing knocked me flying. Yeah, okay. what is happening fishers? Dean's got 8% battery, but I'm okay. So you'll see the screaming reels. I just put a bite trace on because nothing was happening on my trusty catfish, guys. But this thing went for a monstrous first run. Let's tighten that tesoro up a little bit. And we had a bit of a stalemate there, guys. But anyway, we'll get him in. If uh, Dean's camera dies, you can always just shift it to my camera. Oh. So glad we got something with my dad. Finally. Finally. Yeah. Really wanted to come in there for a second. Now it really just wants to sit. I don't like this uh, darker braid at night, I must be honest. Oh, there we're going to go again. Yeah, I felt the bricks now, which is a worry. No, what's over here? Yeah, it looks like it, eh? Not happy. Not happy is yeah.
I'll still get my vape back. Jeez, what's coming out of this fish's mouth, guys? What did he eat? No, man. Barbel eel. Looks like a barbel eel from the tail. Stinks, it's all I know. Ooh. Mm. Anyway, guys, nice fat sweetie. Uh, spotted gully shark. Anyway, guys, um, Akuma Tesoro 20,000, Akuma Mariana 7 to 9 ounce doing the job as always. Spat out something quite disgusting and smelly next to me, but I still get my bait. We'll see you guys soon. Cheers. Shaded as a small pajama shark or something, I think. Pajama shark, it. A oh, small sweetie. Something. Some sort of little shark, guys. Uh, last throw. So I've whacked a massive shade head. Put it out in 11 foot. You could only throw it about 10 meters, but something ate it. There's some sort of shark uh, species there. Anyway, some fun on the 11 foot. Little reggie. Did you put a whole shed head down? The whole big shed head. The big one you took off. <laughs> the one you took off. Zoomers and Franklin Archipelago. It's one of those uh, Aito offsets on. The one that we used. We're doing some things for just now. That whole trace. I just whacked the shed head on that. Okay. Like a boss. Yeah, this is fun, guys. Little 11 foot. I think Andy's gonna grab him now. <laughs> anyway, let's just take him to the beach. I'm gonna swim away from you. Reg. It's a little reggy that we oh, right. Yeah. That's why there's no shad biting. <laughs> yes. Just you find that could have also got a hook earlier. Yes, little baby Reggie. What is cracking, uh, fishers? So, quick fishing session out on Sunday evening. Uh, try to come chase some shad. No shad to be found. But I think we have the reason. I've just uh, I hooked something earlier and put my sinker and my hook off. And then, uh, last throw of the night. A uh, little shad out, or quite a big shad head out on 11 foot, and a little raggy pup came out. So, assuming there were some raggies in the gully, yeah, that's why the shad went biting. And Andrew also put a shad head out and got quite a nice spotted gully. Anyway, next weekend, hope you guys are ready for the 10 biggest pieces in rock and surf species in the country. 
the lines are freshly spooled with a new line and the hooks are super sharp guys don't forget if you haven't entered wednesday is closed off make sure you get those entries in do not miss out on the Bulmoria classic it's the top 10 biggest piece in africa hosted by untraceable fishing some fantastic prizes up for grabs get those entries in anyway if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to untraceable fishing on youtube and check out our facebook page anyway guys Work tomorrow, let me get home, clean some tackle, get some food in my stomach and get some sleep. Cheers.